What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to save and load our neural network model for PyTorch and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to save and load our model. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to save and load our model. So we've done all this work. We've got a model. We've got weights and balances and all the things that we need to run our neural network. In the last video, we added a new data point and ran it through the network and got the output, all kinds of cool things. So how do we save this? How do we then load it again later on if we want to use it some other time. How do we do all that stuff? Well, it's actually pretty easy with PyTorch, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. As always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this narrow network PyTorch series. So check it out if you haven't so far. So I've just got our file we've been working on, simple underscore neural network dot IPYNB, the Jupyter Notebook at Google Colab. And let's just come down here and save our neural network. So to do this, we call torch.save. And then we pass in our model. And then we want to save the dot state underscore dictionary. And this will basically just save our weights and our biases for our model that we've trained and all that good stuff into a dictionary and then save this onto our Google Colab unit here. So models dot state underscore dict. And then we just want to pass in a name for our model here. And I'm just going to call this my underscore really underscore awesome underscore iris underscore model. Now you're going to want to pick a smaller name or you could pick a really cool long name like that, just like that, but whatever. And we're going to save this as a dot PT file. So shift enter to run this thing and boom, it's saved. Now, how do we load the saved model? Well, let's create a variable called new underscore model. And we want to set that equal to um, our model function. And remember this model function is this guy up here at the very top of our program here, right? So you're going to want to have this opened, this Google Colab open in order to do this. So, all right, so we'll set that equal to the model. Now we need to load in all of those weights and biases that we just saved, right? So let's go new underscore model dot load underscore state underscore dict, right? And then we just want to torch dot load and then pass in whatever we name this guy. So I could just kind of copy this slap in some quotation marks, shift it in and run this guy. And this is all keys match successfully. And let's make sure it loaded correctly. Let's go new underscore model dot eval. Shift in and run this. And you see we've got our model with FC1, FC2 in our output. And then 4, 8 and true, 8, 9 and true, 9, 3 and true. And we can compare this to several videos ago if we just kind of scroll up here. And look at this. We pulled that out somewhere here. Yeah, see, remember there's our FC1, FC2, and our out. Eh, did we not eval this somewhere else? I thought we did. Well, maybe it's on an earlier video and I just deleted it, but that looks good. That looks correct. And we're good to go. So, very easy to save these things and load them back up again. And you know, in the last few videos, we used model. Now you would use new underscore model for all of your things. And uh, just that easy. In fact, we could go through and do all this that we did in the last video. You see right here, instead of model, we would type in new underscore model. And then let's see, same thing down here. And everything else will be the same. So very cool, very easy. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos in the PDS of all my best selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.